This video is an introduction to the Detroit Metropolitan Wayne County Airport and its significance within the national airspace system. We'll talk about how air traffic operates in the Detroit area and the safety procedures air traffic controllers use to keep traffic safely separated in the busy airspace. We'll explain why this airport is important to the community it serves and how it has become a key link in the global network of air travel. Detroit Metro Airport is a major international airport in the United States. It serves as a hub for Delta Airlines. It is one of Delta's main gateways to Asia. The airport includes six runways, two terminals, and 129 in-service gates. Over the past 20 years, Detroit has been bringing in more passengers on fewer flights. Larger, modern aircraft translate into fewer takeoffs and landings. Detroit Metro is an economic driver for the region. The airport is responsible for more than 86,000 jobs across Michigan. Its annual economic impact to the region is estimated at $10.2 billion. The FAA, which has a 24-hour facility at Detroit Metro, oversees the safe and efficient movement of aircraft. So how does the FAA handle aircraft in and around Detroit Metro? General runway identification is based on the compass heading the aircraft is facing as it lands or takes off. For example, runway 321 is facing approximately 30 degrees in one direction and 210 degrees in the opposite direction. If you drop the zero at the end of the compass heading, you will get three and two one. Even though a runway is a single strip of concrete, it's essentially treated as two separate surfaces. Parallel runways are further designated with an L for left or R for right at the end of the runway number. At Detroit, you will see runway 3 right, 2 1 left, and 3 left, 2 1 right, as well as 4 right, 2 2 left, and 4 left, 2 2 right. Detroit also has two east-west parallel runways, runway 9 right, 2 7 left, and runway 9 left, 2 7 right. Since aircraft take off and land into the wind, runways are built to align with historical wind patterns specific to each airport. At Detroit, wind patterns often come from the south, so aircraft take off and land to the south, which is called south flow. However, configurations can change. Change can come from wind direction, weather conditions, traffic volume, and even runway construction. Because Detroit is close to the smaller Willow Run Airport, traffic changes at Detroit will affect traffic at Willow Run, which means that if Detroit is in South Flow, Willow Run will be in South Flow too. Detroit's air traffic procedures include modern satellite technology, which enables pilots to fly more direct routes. Updated arrival and departure paths use the airspace more efficiently, reducing delays. New procedures improve airport access in all weather conditions. Satellite-based navigation enables traffic to flow more efficiently around other airports, reducing fuel emissions. Arrival procedures also include optimized profile descents, which enable aircraft to descend to the surface without leveling off reducing engine noise, and conserving fuel. These procedures are being implemented at airports nationwide, increasing efficiency and enabling aircraft to travel seamlessly throughout the country and the world. Here at Detroit, the FAA studied these updates and put them through an environmental review and found that there is no change in the overall noise footprint. More benefits have come with new, quieter engines on most aircraft, including many of those flying into Detroit Metro. Thank you for learning more about how air traffic operates at Detroit Metro Airport. Would you like to learn more? Please visit our Community Involvement website for additional information.